this is really powerful stuff on a different subject today. If you saw this in the Wall Street Journal, right, this is the paper, and they mark the one year since reporter Evan Gershkovich was taken into custody in Russia with a special front page. They have a big blank space on the front page of the paper, and what they're saying is that's where Evan's story should be. Now, Evan is accused of spying. This week, his detention in Russia was extended, at least until June 30th. No trial date set. U.S. all along has condemned the charges against him. We have Ambassador John Herbst joining us right now, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, senior director of the Eurasia Center at the Atlantic Council. Um, your thoughts one year in here for, uh, for Evan on where this is all going? Well, this is obviously a great miscarriage of justice and a tragedy for, for Evan. But it's part of a cynical policy pursued by the Kremlin. You know, they seized Brittany Griner, a high-profile American, and in exchange for her release, they got out a notorious Russian criminal who was selling weapons to rogue regimes all over the world. So they've learned that by taking high-profile Americans who've really done nothing wrong, they can get something of value back. And that's, that's what's going on here. I want to talk about that more, uh, more broadly, if Please I can, start. sir. The, um, yeah. the president talked about it a moment ago. I'll tell you what he said in a second. But I spoke to Evan's sister on this show uh, yesterday. Let me play just a short clip for you of what she said as her family goes through so much. This is Danielle. Every single day uh, is time taken away from him. And I'm constantly thinking about him. Um, I think my parents and I have described it as us holding our breath holding their breath. Uh, I mentioned that the president just commented on it. I'm not going to play the clip because it's very, very short, and he was just getting on the plane or the chopper, and he just said, we're not going to give up on this. In other words, we're going to keep working on it. What would you say about what the U.S. government is doing, has done, and whether enough is, is being done? I'm sorry to say this, um, but it's, there's not that much we can do, hmm. uh, at least in the short term, to deal with his imprisonment, his unjust imprisonment. Uh, the Russians have figured out that by seizing innocent Americans, especially higher profile Americans, they can get some geopolitical advantage. Uh, we should make it clear to them that this is not the case. And that starts by the United States recognizing that Russia is our adversary. They call us their principal adversary. But our policy broadly does not affect that, does not reflect that. It needs to. And over time, Recognizing that there are foe determined to bring us down will lead to a policy that makes it less likely that they'll play games like this in the future. It, but that's not necessarily going to have much impact on his imprisonment right now. No, and it's interesting you say all of that because the journal itself, where, of course, Evan works, uh, had a story earlier this week that I thought was interesting because they talked about how there's this secret game. Uh, this is the letter from the Wall Street Journal's editor-in-chief that was out on Evan's detention being a blatant attack on the rights of the free press. But the other article they have talks about it being a secret game of prisoner swaps. And in that game, they say Putin has been holding most of the cards. In other words... He has the upper hand. Well, he does hold more cards because he's willing to ruin a human life without a second thought, hmm. which also applies to the soldiers he sends in kamikaze mass attacks on Ukrainian fortified positions, whereas we do care about human life. And so when someone is unjustly in prison, America is unjustly in prison abroad, that creates a political need for the White House to act. And that's therefore by Putin, by seizing innocent Americans, can get Russian criminals out of American custody. And it's more likely we'll continue to play this game if we don't identify clearly that Putin's Russia is an enemy of the United States. It's really interesting uh, to have this discussion and almost discouraging in some ways. You know, given all this, you know, the reporters look in, they say, boy, this, this young man just doing his job and he's held. And, and you, with so much foreign policy experience, come on and say, you know what, there's not much we can do. I mean, that's a discouraging conversation to have. Wouldn't you agree? There, there's no question. I mean, yeah. we can offer Russia more concessions, which means that they'll continue to grab Americans in the future. Yeah, that's where we are. Can I Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.